so this first part this is second part this is third part and this is fourth part each part is called the quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant okay now here in this first quadrant we will see the detailed information about that each quadrant in this first quadrant we have shown here the point p okay so we have to write first x point and always the second point is y point is x coordinate and y coordinate okay so here if you see properly any point we can take from on the x axis or any point we can take from the y axis this all the values will be positive so in the first quadrant x is also positive and y is also positive means x value is positive and y value is positive so in the first quadrant the values of x and y will be greater than 0 or less than 0 of course what x and y values are greater than 0 so in the first quadrant quadrant first what x is greater than Zero and y is also greater than zero. Similarly, in the quadrant two, here if we select this point, this point we can take the two, and here we draw this perpendicular distance from what x-axis, and here also we can draw this perpendicular distance from this y-axis. So we have to write first which coordinate x that minus four. So minus four is the axis of this point and one is the what coordinate so in this second quadrant what here here x is negative and y is positive so how the values of x and y x minus 4 of course any negative number is less than 0 so x values will come less than 0 and y values will come greater than 0 so in the second we can take this the values of x are less than 0 and values of y are greater than 0 ok similarly in the third part quadrant we can say the directly one so x point is we have to take directly first uh, x point and then y point so here if we take any point in this area so x is negative and y is also negative so the both values will come negative means that x is also less than 0 and y is also less than 0 so in third order x less than 0 y less than 0 ok now in the fourth order we know first x value then y values so here all the x values are half positive and y are negative so in the fourth order fourth quadrant what will be there x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0 always understood everyone now we will see the next part of this how the values means how the sign notation here here in the first quadrant what all values are positive x is positive y is also positive here in the second quadrant First x values are negative and y values are positive, correct? And in the third quadrant, x also negative, y is also negative. And in the fourth quadrant, what will be the x is positive and y is negative. Okay. Now, if we are taking the any points on the x axis, then what will be there? See if you select this point, this I have to take one of the point, point M on the x axis. Then what are the coordinates of M? Of course, what is the x point? Point is what? 5. So first we have to take the x coordinate. So here it will be 5. And what about the y? Here. Here the y is what? What is the y values? Here 0 because y axis is started from here and x also x axis is started from here so from here we can take that y values is 0 ok means any point it will take on the x axis it may positive point or negative point if you take 
here. So in here, this one you will select. Then what are the coordinates of this point? For minus five and what will be the y coordinate? Zero. Okay. So from this we can say that if any point on the y axis, then ordinate of that point is always zero. Understood? Ordinate of that point is always zero. Similarly, if you will take any point on the y axis, suppose I select here this point. Okay, this point is supposed to be n. Then how we can write the coordinates of the point n? The coordinates of the point n is when we are writing the coordinates of any point, we have to write first for x coordinate first. So what is the x coordinate here? Then of course the x coordinate is what? 0 first and y will come what? 4. Similarly, if you take, if you select this point on the y-axis and here, we will write here the point name, suppose r. So here r, what are the coordinates of the r? 0, minus 2. Okay, so here we can say that any point that lies on the y-axis, the axis size is always Understood everyone? Similarly, what are the coordinates of this origin? Correct. 0, 0. Always are there. This coordinates of the O is what? 0, 0. Now, any point that lies on the y-axis, the axis size is always 0. Any point is lies on the x-axis, the ordinate is always 0. Correct? Then, right side of the y-axis, right side of the y-axis here, positive values of x-axis this and here, left side of the y-axis here, negative values. Okay. Now here, quadrant first, quadrant second, quadrant third, quadrant fourth. Right. Now here we have done about how to write the coordinates of any point which is given in the plane. So this we have learned about what coordinates coordinates then this these are called this x axis and this y axis are this x axis and y axis are called coordinate axis coordinate axis okay and this total together this total together is called the coordinate system okay this total together called coordinate system okay and this system this system is when we will use in the geometry so it is called the coordinate geometry that is our our topic name Okay, so in this coordinate geometry topic, we have to learn or we have to find, see the study the, how to find the distance between two points. Means we have to learn about the distance formula, section formula, how to find the area of triangle, which that points are located on here the coordinate in this Cartesian plane. Okay, so we have revised here how the points are there. How the values in each and every quadrant, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Now, this period you will see first example, examples on the basic concept. Okay. Hello, students. As we have revised the part of the coordinate geometry, that basic information about this. Now, on this basis, you will see the one of the example. See your example. The base AB of the two equilateral triangles ABC and ABC dash with side 2A lies along the x-axis such that the midpoint of AB is origin as shown in the figure that find the coordinates of the vertices of C and C dash 
of the triangle. Okay. Now we will see. We will learn these examples again. That base AB of the two equilateral triangle ABC and ABC dash. Base AB of the two equilateral triangle here. A B C and A B C that is two R equilateral triangle with side two A equilateral triangle which everyone we know that all sides are equal. Okay, so if we take this A B C equilateral triangle, then this A B equals to B C equals to A C. All sides are equal with the side two A is equal means this side is two A. This side is also 2a, and this total area distance is also 2a. The lies along the x-axis. This is your x-axis. Means one of the side of your equilateral triangle is lies along the x-axis, which is uh, that the midpoint of AB is origin. So AB is the one of the side of your equilateral triangle, and the midpoint is O. That O means this. Origin O. Okay. So you know that what are the forms of origin? Origins are the coordinates of the origin are zero, G. So these coordinates are of the origins are zero comma zero. And here it is given that we have to find find the coordinates of the vertices C and C dash. Okay. So side AB which has Measurement is what two a okay two a is from here to here and here to here total distance is two a so this a point is lies on which axis x axis so of course what are the points of these coordinates of the a that will be a and y coordinate is zero correct and what are the coordinates of the b here which is the negative side means left side so negative points are there. So Minus a and zero. Y coordinate is zero. So total distance is two a. Of course, we know that this BC will come also two a and AC will come two a. But we have to find the coordinates of C and C dash. Okay, that lies on which axis? Y axis. Correct. So Y axis means point how will come? That we will see. see. Here, this Y axis and X axis are perpendicular to Each other means here. What do we do? 90 degree angle, correct? So 90 degree angle is here means if we take this one of the part, this this type of angle is from right angle triangle. So right angle triangle, triangle A O C, correct? Triangle A O C. So here in triangle A O C in Triangle AOC. Here, what angle AOC equals to? Angle AOC equals to 90 degree. Can you guess how we will solve this? We have to find these coordinates of C and similarly C dash. Once you got the C, that will be the C dash. Okay, so we change the sign. Now C. Here, this right angle triangle means we can use the which property? Pythagoras property. Correct. In the Pythagoras, by Pythagoras theorem, we will find out this. Okay. So here, what will be there? AC square equals to OC square plus OA square. Okay. So by Pythagoras theorem. What will be there? AC square. This AC square equals to what? OC square plus OA square. OC square plus OA square. Okay. Now what is the AC? AC measurement is 2A. So we can take here 2A bracket square equals to OC square. We will write as it is OC square. And plus OA square. What is the OA distance? O to A. The distance is what? A. This is A distance is there. Okay. So here A. That 
that a square. Okay. Now here we will simplify this expression. Two square is what? Four. And this a square is a square equals to cos square plus a square. Now we will use the transposing rule. We will shift this side. Now four a square minus a square equals to cos square. Understood? Now this four a square minus a square how many remaining? Correct. Three a square. Three a square equals to cos square. Okay, students. So now we have to find cos square or cos. Yes, of course we have to find cos. So we have to take the square roots on both sides. So what is the square root of the cos square here? We will write cos square equals to three. A square and we will take the next day taking the square roots on both side. O C equals to what is the square? Three is not correct square of any number, so we can take that the root three and what is the square root of A square? That is A. Root three A. Okay. Now O C distance O C this O C distance is what root three A. So here O C distance. The y coordinate, what is there? And x coordinate is always zero. So here the coordinate will come. X coordinate always we are writing first. So here this coordinate will come. Axis are will come zero. And y coordinate will come what? What root three a. And y this is upside, so this is positive because the value here. And downside similarly that c dash we will write what is the x coordinate here or x coordinate is here what zero and y coordinate will be negative so minus root three a these are the coordinate of c and c dash so here we will write c equals to what are the c points zero root three a And C dash we write what zero minus root three a. Understood, everyone? 